Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome to Zetsubo no Shima 101. This episode, we are going to be going over the layout of the map, hopefully all of the wall buys, all of the box, and all of the perks locations as well. So let's get started. All right, this is the spawn location right here. You can see we have a nice little pool of water just that Treyarch put here to introduce us uh, to the swimming mechanic and zombies. But usually you will run out here. We have uh, a ritual site for the skulls. We have a Shiva on the wall. There will be a bucket up here. RK5 Gobblegum right here. Now there is basically a, a circle layout here. There is a loop all the way around here and the bunker on the end of this map which you guys will see so we're gonna go around the circle first we'll go to our right here we have the l car 9 on the wall this is a little a little loop right here we can loop right in uh, you can see there will be stamina up or uh speed cola or double tap right there you can see this loops right back on to spawn that's pretty simple pretty easy to do this perk drops on round six uh, quick Revival or Jug will drop on round two if you watch the plane in the sky. Moving on to this, we have our Ritual and Challenge locations. We have a box location right here, and we have a couple different ways of going uh, this way. We can head to the B facility right there. Uh, I like to go over to this place, though. We have an Argus wall by on the wall right there, and we can move on over... This is how I like to get to the B facility right here. Big wide open area right here. Really nice. Got some beautiful uh, trees and stuff. B facility right here. Uh, that is the pathway that you can come when you go the other way just over there. And over here we can actually go up on this B facility here. We'll go in a little loop. You can see we can also go underneath there. But we will walk on up in here. This is where we turn on temporary power. We have an M8 uh, right here. Another Gobblegum machine all the way up in this facility. We have one of the musical Easter eggs and a pretty decent camping spot right here. However, we can drop on down to here. And now we are on the opposite side of the B facility. You can see we walked in just right here. And then we come on up to this left side. We can see that's the bunker. That's the continuation of the circle. You get a little map of it right there. In fact, I might take a screenshot of that. Uh, but then we have a Vesper on the wall here. But in the back, back here, underneath the beef facility, behind the beef facility, we have another uh, another perk location. It is random. We have an ICR wall by. Uh, a nice little jump scare here. And some green water next to this. We have the sewers, which go into the bunker itself. Back here we have another box location right there, and a seed plant right there, and then what else is back here? I think that's it. We have this underground section, or under the B facility uh, right here, but we are going to continue on the circle. That was the B facility. We're going to continue on, continue our way through the circle here. This is the bunker. We will return to this later, but this is the halfway point. This is directly opposite of spawn. We have a VMP on the wall. And my shambling speed is running out, so we are going to need to make this snappy, alright? That that needs to last more than four minutes, track. But anyway, we have a Kuda wall by right here on the wall. This is the A facility right here, so this is underneath the A facility. This is where you get a piece of the wonder weapon. We can go all the way to our right side here. Uh, and I did realize that I did not open this area quite yet. Uh, however, that is where the spider boss is. I'm sure some of you guys can be familiar with that, or will be familiar with that here. Uh, that is another perk location right there that's double tap this game this is blue water right here and then we can just continue on here and this is hello this is the a facility right here you can see that's just where we were just underneath here up here we have the facility uh, right here we have I believe this is an HVK this is temporary power right here going on this way we have a buildable table if you didn't see there was a buildable table uh, in lab B or station B as well we have another gobblegum machine here as well as we have the uh, trip a zip line which we will use uh, later in this video probably not use but just see later in that video we drop down down to here and again you can see how this circles back on itself we are now underneath here yet again it's confusing until you actually play the map and get a good bearing for it it's not too difficult we have quick revive or jug it's gonna be jug on multiplayer but it's gonna be quick revive on solo that will fly in an air or in a uh, not spaceship but in an airship a plane uh, on round two if you just take uh, pay attention there. Over here we have the uh, plane trap, another ritual site right here, and we have just kind of a cool little area. You get a piece of the gas mask here. We have a pharaoh wall by. I actually like the pharaoh. It's good for headshots. Another um, box location here. 
And this continues out. You can actually go out a couple different ways. You can go this way, which is a little drop down ledge here, or you can go in, oh, there's a KRM right here, or you can go in the way we came in right there. So that's pretty cool. And all you can see, we've circled back to spawn. This is the Gobble Gun Machine, and this is uh, the RK5. But we are going to make our way to the bunker now. We're going to go all the way back. I'm going to show you this way. This is the kind of left-hand side of the of the map. And there's a secret little uh, KT4 drop right there. But if we go to the left right here, you can see there's more air. This is the left side of the map. We get to the bunker this way. And you can see I have turned on the power, both temporary powers as well as the permanent power into the bunker. If we go immediately to our right before Jug, this is going to be Jug on solo. It's going to be quick revive in a multiplayer. Uh, you can see a map, a good, oh, another screenshot, uh, a map of this bunker here, which is actually pretty cool. But we'll go up here. This is the AA turret. We have the KN44 on the wall. And there is a shield piece in here, which I am going to get because I've yet to. There it is right there. This is one of my favorite areas. Another box right there, box location there. We have this and we also have, hello. We also have the fan trap right here. That's how sausages are made. We have a gobble gun machine. Like I said, Jug is going to be right there to our left here. This is going to be the power room. Uh, I don't think I need to show you the power room. There is water underneath there. And if we go... Uh, right there, you can see there's a gobble gun machine. That's how you turn on power. And I just realized there's a Vesper wall by right there. Honestly, didn't know that until just now. So we go through here, uh, and there's a box location here, VMP, virtual site, as well as a piece for the... Oh, that was a... That was radio I accidentally just got. There is a piece for the gas mask as well as the other end of the zip line. That is facility A right there. That's where we just came from. If you can sort of get your bearings. There are a couple of those uh, quick things that you can use to get around the map more effectively. So right here is Pack-A-Punch here in the middle. I can actually, I do have the parts to drain all of the water to go get Pack-A-Punch uh, also. And then this is the right side of the map. If we go into the bunker right away and we head to our right, these are, I think it's called the living quarters. Uh, there's an ICR wall by on the wall here. This is my favorite place to train. There's a buildable table. I like putting the shield here. Um, I don't know. No, I cannot build the shield here, but that's where I like to do it. There's cocoons up here. There's a second level. Not really useful at all, but you can go up there, I guess, if you want. Uh, but back over here, this is where we are ending the map here. This is a huge, huge map. This is like two maps in one. We got the uh, pods in here. I don't know. There's a jump scare that has to do with these. I think this is... Yep, an HVK right there, and there is a, a spiral staircase on either side. Either side, you come on down here, uh, you get a nice little semi-flooded. This is the sewer system, which takes us back to the B facility. If you guys remember that from way long ago, we have the KT4. Uh, you have the KT4 uh, ingredient table, I guess we'll call it, and the Mazamune ingredient table uh, as well. But we will come down here. This is where Mule Kick is through this door. We have the M8A7 yet again. And down here is the fun piece, baby. This is so fun. We get to come down here. These are an abandoned mine shaft. That's right, abandoned mine shaft. Uh, underwater, we have these pods everywhere. There's a pack a punch piece in here. There's a really freaking cool cipher right there that tells us about Gersh and his return, hopefully, in the next DLC. I don't know, we might be seeing this video by the next DLC. But down here, there is a piece for the KT4 as well as something to get your air back. And then we can move on up here. Hopefully, we don't kill that zombie on the way up here. And just more catacombs, more caves, whatever you want to call these. Get some air, come on back. And that is basically. The entire map right there. It's a big, huge, open map. It's a it's a complex map. There's lots of different ways to get around. Uh, not as easily traversable as Der Eisendraha, but it is definitely fun uh, to traverse and all that sort of good stuff. But that is, I believe, all of the areas we have here. So that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Zetsubo no Shima 101. And until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning i forgot this kuda wall by right here on the bunker as soon as you walk in to the right kuda wall by and until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning i'll catch up with you guys later and as always stay beautiful dang it i forgot the bowie knife too the bowie knife is right here right outside the bunker now go away <laughs>